Hello to all math wizards. This is Senior Pablo. And welcome to our second channel, the Senior Pablo Tricks and Trivia. For our first video, we're going to answer a first periodic test in grade 11. If you want to check the questions, you can go to our community section in Senior Pablo TV. And you can find the questions there. Okay, let's start our question number one. Okay, let's check question number one. Which of the following sets of ordered pairs define a function? We define a function if there is no x coordinate or the x coordinate must not be repeated. So let's check our choices. For letter A, the x coordinates are negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, and negative 2. We notice that negative 2 is repeated twice. So, letter A is wrong. How about letter B? 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, letter B is our answer because our x coordinate x coordinate does not repeat okay and you can take a look at the letter c and letter d in letter c zero is repeated twice as our domain and for letter d letter d one is repeated twice so the correct answer in number one is b Next, number two. Which of the following graph shows for every value of x, there is only one value of y? So in here, we're going to use the vertical line test. You can check our playlist to understand the vertical line test. So in this case, our answer is letter B. And now let's proceed to number three. Which of the following or which of the following arrow diagrams shows that y is a function of x? So we're dealing with the correspondence. We know that a function can be one to one or one to many. So in this case, Letter A is not our answer because our correspondence is many to one. Letter B, we have many to one. That's not a function. For letter C, we have one to many. So that is a function. So the answer in number three is letter C. And letter D, that is many to one, which is not a function. So number one is B, number two is B, number three is C. Next, number four. Which of the following graph does not define a function? We're going to use does not define. So we're going to use the vertical line test because this is a graph. And notice that the only graph in number 4 that does not define a function is letter D. Dog. Why? Because if we're going to use the vertical line test, it will touch the graph twice. Okay? Next, number 5. Find the value of f of x, so we're going to solve this, f of x is equal to 4x squared plus 3x minus 15 when x is negative 2. So let us solve f of x is equal to 4x squared plus 3x minus 15 when x is equal to negative 2. 
So substitute the value of x. So 4 times negative 2 squared plus 3 times negative 2 minus 15. 4 times negative 2 squared, that is positive 4. Positive 3 times negative 2, that is negative 6. Then copy minus 15. Now we have 4 times 4, 16, minus 6, minus 15. 16 minus 6, that is 10. Minus 15, negative 5. So when x is negative 2, the function will give us negative 5. So that is letter B. Done. So let us write our answer here. Number 1 is B. Number 2, B. Number 3, C. Number 4, D, number 5 is D. And now, let's proceed in number 6. Find the range given the function f of x is equal to x over 2 plus 3, where x is an element of 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So we have the function f of x is equal to x over 2 plus 3. Then, x an element of 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. We're going to find f of x. So let us substitute. If we have f of 0, that will give us 0 over 2 plus 3. 0 divided by 2, that is 0, plus 3. What is 0 plus 3? That is 2. If we have f of 2, 2, we have 2 over 2 plus 3. 2 over 2, that is 1 plus 3, that will give us 3. Next, f of 4, that is 4 over 2 plus 3. 4 divided by 2, that is 2 plus 3. Oh, sorry, 1 plus 3 is 4. Okay, sorry for that. 2 plus 3 is 5. And in 6, notice a pattern, 2, 4, uh, 3, 4, 5, of course, we have 6 and 7. So that is letter 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, letter D. Letter D for number 6. Next, number 7. Given f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 1, and g of x is equal to x minus z, which of the following value corresponds to f composed of g of 3? We're going to solve. So we have f composed of g of 3. So this is the same as f of g, g of 3. So f of, what is our g of 3? So let's get g of x so we have g of x is x minus 2 so x minus 2 this is 2 so we have 3 minus 2 so now we have f of 1 okay 
just change the x to our value, which is 3. So 3 minus 2, that is 1. Now let us find f of 1. In number 7, f of x is equal to x raised to 4 minus 1. So we're going to find f of 1. So 1 raised to 4 minus 1. Now, 1 raised to 4, that is 1, minus 1, will give us 0. So, F composed of G of 3 is equal to 0. So, number 7 is letter C. Okay, that is number 7. Next, number eight. Number eight, given f of x is equal to 3x over x minus 2 and g of x is equal to 2x minus 1 over x minus 2. What value of x will make the product of f of x and g of x undefined? So to make our function undefined, let us equate the denominator to 0. For f of x, our denominator is x minus 2. So we have x minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, for g of x, for f of x, x is equal to 2. How about in g of x? The denominator is x minus 2 equate to 0, so x is equal to positive. To make the functions undefined, the value of x must be 2. So number 8 is letter so 1 to 8. So this is our part 1 of our tricks and trivia. Checking of the periodic tests of general mathematics. Stay tuned for our part 2 this coming Saturday. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo Tricks and Trivia.